Hey guys, what's up? This is Mystical from AcupaDeath.com. Today on this week's Tutorial Tuesday, we are going to show you the best settings to use for live streaming to YouTube. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to your broadcast settings. If you don't have a channel set up for YouTube, you'll want to go to Add Channel and you'll want to select the Custom RTMP. If you don't have that option there, you'll need to visit the plugin store as you just saw me click on and you can scroll down and you will see it in here and you can click it and there'll be an install button there where it says uninstall for me. Okay, so after you have it set up, um, it'll ask for all your information, you know, and then you can, it'll be listed here under broadcast. You can click here on the gear icon that'll take you to the channel properties and you can name it. I think it'll originally be named custom RTMP or whatever. You can name it to YouTube or whatever you're streaming with. Um, and all this information comes from YouTube, which if you're not sure how to live stream to YouTube, then you'll want to make sure you, you subscribe to our channel as we are getting ready to release a video on live streaming to YouTube and how to do it uh, because it is a little more complicated, not much, but a little more than like uh, streaming to twitch.tv or something like that or Ustream. Okay, so this is the part we're concerned about, the video encoding, the audio encoding. Uh, you'll want to make sure that the Kodak is set, is set for x.264, that the bit rate is set for 3000 kilobytes per second, which is 3 megabytes per second. Um, the reason being is they recommend the lowest quality at 2500. Um, however, I like to go with 3000 just because I like to turn up a couple little things like the audio bit rate and stuff so that the sound quality is a little better. Uh, the reason you can go higher, now this is for 720p, if you want to go 1080p, you're definitely going to bump that up to at least, uh, I believe the lowest they recommend for that is 5 megabytes per second or 5,000 kilobytes per second. Uh, however, there's still a lot of people out there that don't have super fast internet. Um, however, most people have at least three megabytes down per second. Um, and because, uh, you know, this is what you're streaming at, they need to at least have that much um, download speed in order to watch your stream without having any interruptions or anything. Uh, so, you know, it works. The quality is very, very well. Um, you don't notice much of a difference between like if you go 3000 or 5000 at 720p. Um, so I go ahead and go with 3000 that way everybody can watch it without having any problems. You can bump this up if you wish. Just keep in mind that you may be affecting some viewership. The mode you want to go with constant bitrate and not variable. The reason being is that you do not want the spikes that you get from like when you're sitting on a loading screen to when it goes into action as those spikes can cause a lot of issues with your stream as well in terms of skipping stuff when people are watching it. So you definitely want to go with a constant bitrate. Um, and then if you click the gear icon here, that lets you set this stuff as there is some important things in there. You want to check the box for apply strict constant bit rate, which means that it keeps it um, very consistent, the bit, the bit rate. The max keyframe interval, you want to set it two seconds. Um, the default, I forget what the default is, um, but you want to make sure it's set at two seconds. In fact, even YouTube will actually tell you um, that it's not set at that if you do not set it at that. Again, it just allows uh, for a smoother, um, a smoother viewing of your live stream for those that are watching. Your encoder preset, this is determined based on your uh, processor that you have. The default is very fast, um, which is a low CPU usage. Um, however, if you have a good processor, like for example, in this computer I'm running the AMD 8350, you can go all the way up. Um, I can run medium, for example, if I'm streaming from the Xbox 360 and not using the computer for anything besides the live stream, I can, I can stream at medium, no issues at all. Um, you know, it says don't try without second gen fast i7. Um, you know, for if I'm on the computer, gaming from the computer and live stream at the same time, I go with faster, um, which is medium CPU usage. Um, but it kind of depends on the game. You know, some games use a lot of CPU processing power. Some games rely strictly on your graphics card. Um, if you're running a game that relies strictly on your graphics card, you'll be able to bump this up higher. If you're running the game where it's using quite a bit of your CPU, you're not going to be able to set it as high. Um, but for the most part, you can leave it at very fast if you're unsure what to do there um, until you fool around with it a bit. Um, all this does is, is the higher you have, you know, the, the better you have this it faster, fast, medium, slow, the more compression that it does to the video before it sends it to the stream, which allows you to get a lot better quality for your three 
you know megabytes per second download or whatever you have it set at um, so if I'm at very fast with three megabytes per second my stream quality is not going to be as good as if I'm running it like fast or medium at three megabytes per second down um, upload speed uh, you know so you want to get the highest you can here without affecting your performance in games and stuff like I said if, if you're if you're streaming you know from your Xbox 360 or something like that obviously you're gonna be able to set this at a higher rate than if you're stream, you know, if you're playing, you know, streaming a computer game that you're playing at the time, um, you know. So, like I said, if I'm playing on the Xbox 360, I go with medium with an 8350. If I'm streaming, you know, on the computer, I go with faster. Um, yeah, and video size, you can leave it default stage resolution. Is that something you should have set in your actual view? For the audio, you want the AAC low complexity, medium to high bit rate, which is the AAC LCHQ. Um, that's the best one that I that I found. You know, seems to work the best. Um, no issues with that one. The bit rate. This is why I go with 3,000 instead of the recommended minimum of 2,500. Is I want that little bit of extra so I can go up to it. The default's 128. I run at 192 kilobytes per second, um, just because I like the added bonus you get from. <coughs> excuse me. The added bonus you get. Um, you know, for those watching the stream, so that everything's crystal clear for them while they're watching. They can hear everything, no problems. The game volume, the voices volume, all that. Format 44.1 kilohertz stereo, um, and you can uncheck this so that it doesn't automatically save recordings on your local hard drive, or you can leave that checked. Um, and I go ahead and interleave audio and video into one RTMP channel. Um, you can do it as two, um, however I do it as one. And then you just click OK to save and you're all set up. That is the best quality settings that I've found for streaming to YouTube. Those are the settings that work the best. Like I said, about the only thing you want to maybe mess with is your bit rate. And you can mess with how much of your processor is used for compressing the video before it uploads it. Uh, to YouTube. Okay guys, that's all we have for you today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. We will be more than happy to help you guys get this stuff set up. Um, we love doing this stuff. We love answering questions about this stuff. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel. That way you can get updates on any uh, future tutorial videos, including, you know, like I said, if you need to know how to actually set up a stream for YouTube, you'll definitely want to subscribe. Um, that video should be coming any day. Um, once this one's posted, that's the next one to be posted. Um, I know it's a little backwards, but unfortunately, you know, this one was done way before the other one that we got done. Uh, so just make sure you subscribe. That way you get all that information. Um, and also any other needs you have, like if you're live streaming to Twitch and want to know the best settings for that, we have a video for that as well. And a bunch of other great videos, gameplay videos, things like that. So make sure you subscribe. If the video helped you out, make sure you give it a like. It helps us out tremendously, and we truly appreciate it. And uh, you guys have a great day. We'll see you in the game.